Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan. And uh, Chris. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to make some Damascus steel. Uh, right, we've cut all this stuff here. I don't know if you can see that. Right? We've cut lots of this lovely EN 42J and 15N20. Uh, so we're going to make a couple of stacks. I think we're going to make four stacks or three. Three, three or four stacks. And we're going to weld them together. And we're just going to go, I'm going to go through the process as we're doing it, make a bit of a video of it. Uh, and this is the last day of your course, isn't it? Yep. Um, which is which has been gone really well. We've got a pair of tongs, haven't we? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, good. Cool. And Dan's come up just yeah. as Dan's here. So <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> cool, right, we're going to get on and I'll see you in a bit. Right, we've got these stacks here of 50 by 100 mil EN. Uh, the EN 42J and the 15N20 and then we've got two smaller stacks here of the same stuff uh, just um, 20 mil long so we're going to make some stacks up now weld them together put some bars on them get them hot and just do that sort of stuff um, I bought this from a company online called High Grade Steel uh, they were called High Grade Steel weren't they? yeah High Grade Steel I'll put a link to the website below um, and I'll also find out before the end of this video, because I'm going to call him in a minute, whether or not he'll ship to the United States of America. The shipping in the UK is free anywhere. I guess the Isle of Man and all that stuff might be different, uh, like it normally is, but really good. Uh, we didn't pay much money for these big sheets, um, and so far we got, we got loads out, haven't we, so far, which has been really good. So, um, yes, that's where I got it from. Link in the description, and uh, we're going to start making some stacks up and weld them together. See you in a minute. Okay, so we've got two billets done. Uh, this one is gonna is like um, uh, 15 N20, then the 42, then the N20, then the 42, then the N20, then an N20, uh, 42, N20, 42, N20. So there should be a nice big fat dark strip in the middle of this one. And I think this one is similar, uh, it just a bit wider and it's a thinner material. So we're gonna get on with these two to start with. The first thing is we're gonna stick them in the fire uh, and, and just squeeze all the gaps out from in between, so quite a low temperature. Then we're gonna borax it, take it up to welding temperature, pop them under the power hammer, squeeze them all together. And then this one, I'm gonna try and do it by hand with Chris. Uh, same process though, basically, take it up to temperature, uh, squeeze all the gaps out, and then uh, get it, hit it a bit harder. Get this one in here. Yep. 
Turn her over. And back in the fire. Sparkling. Yeah. Nice heat. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Cool. Yep. Go on. A bit harder, Dan. Turn her over quick. Turn her over. And again. And again. Yeah. Back in the fire. So uh, me and Chris have just um, uh, polished this up. This is the bar that I welded back together after cutting it. And uh, we're going to stick it in some ferric chloride. And this is a 50-50 mix, ferric chloride versus water. In fact, just give that a bit of a stir. Like so. Lovely. That's worked already. <laughs> and uh, we'll leave that in there for about, what's the time? It's caught to seven. We'll leave that in there for 15 minutes. Right, I'm sure I'm going to get something about health and safety now. Dan, you, A, you shouldn't be picking this up with your fingers. B, you shouldn't be waving it around by your tea. <laughs> you meant to neutralise it in bicarbonate of soda and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 but um, <laughs> whatever. Right, let's give that a wipe off. Nice. Right. I am just going to go and run this under the tap. One second. Focus. There we are. Come on, focus. There you are. Don't know if you guys can see that, but I think we did okay. Right. Nice. Okay, so, did you have a good time? Yeah, awesome. Good. Would you come back? Yes, definitely. <laughs> You're all nuts. <laughs> um, so, this came out really well, the pattern on this, the, uh, first of all, taking all the layers and then chopping them up and then messing about with them. This came out really, uh, really awesome. It wasn't that difficult either, was it? 
Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot harder. Well, I, 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 I've been pooing myself about this. <laughs> Look, we did this today, and I've, on, honestly, if you want, if you're thinking about trying it, and you're thinking, oh, it's going to be too hard, give it a go because it's nowhere near as hard as people make it out to be. Um, that or I'm super talented, <laughs> and I don't think that I don't think that's true. And um, you managed to get this one welded together. Yeah. Um, so you saw, you may have seen Dan and uh, Dan and um, Chris. Chris, yes, yes sorry, man. <laughs> They did this mostly by hand and then Chris drew it out afterwards under the power hammer. So he's going to take his way and try and make some things. So as soon as he does, I'll put some pictures up. Yeah, so I'm waiting. <laughs> um, and like I said before, the guy who signed with that did a really good job. I will find out whether or not he can ship to the States. I think that was reasonable. Yeah. I didn't so anyway, yeah. So it was like 140 quid for two two of the bigger sheets and the shipping was free. So, but whether or not you can get it out to the States for free, I don't know, I think that's a bit ambitious. But, good quality stuff, it turned up in the next day, pretty much ordered it on the Friday, it was here on the Monday. Um, we've used about a quarter of the sheet. Um, and it's, yeah, we've got some really good results. I need to practice, work with the patterns, but it was all right, I yeah. think we did okay. Um, that's everything. Well, I think that's everything. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say. Cool, excellent. Well, thank you for joining me. I've really enjoyed having you. Yeah, and uh, thank you for joining us and uh, watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a bit different doing it with someone else here because I can do the camera stuff and get in there, which is nice. Uh, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Uh, let me know if you want to know anything about Damascus. Um, and also if I did anything wrong or you think I could do something better, let me know because I always like to, like to learn, which is good. Um, Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you are, ring that bell for notifications and leave a comment down below, whatever you like. And um, that's everything. So your head and belly will once again become... <laughs> <laughs> so this is last the last episode with Chris, which was the course, and then I'll chuck down here to a beginner's course that we did ages ago. That's my Patreon, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>